Hey YouTube, this is Bernie with Dry Creek Homestead. Uh, so, today, I guess, I don't know if you want to call it day one or day two of our, uh, <laughs> of our own personal SHTF scenario here. <laughs> so, uh, yesterday, uh, we, I, I, uh, had both of the cars break down one broke down on Sunday the other one broke down yesterday and uh, they're both in the shop so <clears throat> we have no vehicle except for the tractor that you see behind me <laughs> so now they're in the shop they'll get repaired so <clears throat> but without having a vehicle it really brings to light things that you didn't think of that you might need you know the the purpose of homesteading is to be self-sufficient and somewhat prepared you know in my opinion you know but uh there were some things i didn't think of uh well some of the things that i thought of you know but because it was thanksgiving weekend uh I didn't do and so that's my my own fault so uh, like pig feed we're getting a little low on but my uh, my in-laws are coming tomorrow they're gonna bring us some pig feed and some chicken feed because we can't go anywhere and uh, so we're going to have to survive off of <laughs> what's in our our pantry and our fridge and everything else so we're 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 all right you know we've got meat and we've got fruits and vegetables only thing we don't have, we don't have a milk cow, so uh, they're also going to bring us a gallon of milk when they come. But it is what it is. But yeah, so both the cars are broke down. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll have one back by the end of the week. I don't know. The other one, probably not, I was told. So, uh, so yeah, and the one that will not probably have back by the end of the week as a pickup which on a homestead the pickup comes in a lot more handy than an suv <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie so but i don't know it's gonna be probably a couple of weeks before we get that back because the uh, one the dealership is backed up in the first place so they said it's gonna be a while before they get to it so anyway so yeah so that's that's what it is but so you know talking about somewhat of being preparedness you know make sure you have things on hand we're we're pretty fortunate we you know we got a pantry like i said we were lacking in milk and uh, i didn't i knew the feed was getting a little bit low but it was thanksgiving weekend we went to see family and i said well i'll just get it when i get back i wasn't counting on both vehicles going down and so uh you know so now our in-laws are kind enough they're going to drive over and uh bring us some tomorrow so uh but we're not completely out yet probably got a couple more days before we're completely out of the pig feed chicken feed we're getting a little bit low on cattle feed we're really good on uh so yeah so just think about those things that okay if you had them if you couldn't drive your vehicle you know if you couldn't go to the grocery store which has happened to us here <laughs> so uh yeah so yeah so just think about those things that you might need if you're stuck at home and can't do anything you know or you know if there's another cough cough scenario where they where they uh do the two week quarantines again you know you just never know what's going to happen so just make sure you're a little bit prepared uh like i said we're doing all right on the food side and, and you can tell that thing i got two chins so i'm not going to starve to death tomorrow so uh so yeah so just just keep all that stuff in mind because you just never know what life is gonna throw at you and uh yeah <laughs> i never would have thought i'd lose one truck on sunday and then my wife's car on monday i, ne I never thought that would happen in a million years <laughs> but it did so there you go anyway so yeah just just make sure you've got stuff on hand, you know, and uh, I'm glad we do. Like I said, I wish I'd prepared a little bit better on uh, livestock feed side of it. But other than that, we're, we're good to go. But if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, otherwise, we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.